Hey guys, welcome back. I just started cleaning my stove and I figured I would turn the camera and kind of take you along because my kitchen is a mess and I have to cook dinner. Eddie's on his way home from work. So I thought I'd take you along. I already did, um, I'll show you here in a second, take out like uh, if there's any like uh, food on the bottom of the stove. I scrubbed that off. I sprayed it down. I have this I use this, it's like a multi-purpose for me. So it's the Honest Glass and Window Cleaner and it has uh, vinegar in here. I don't really like the smell of vinegar, but it works great with baking soda. So a lot of times if you see my other cleaning videos, I'll use this in my shower as well. So I'll use baking soda, I'll, sprinkle, uh, I'll spray this on top, it kind of fizzes it a little bit. And uh, so yeah, so that's what I did. I uh, put some baking soda in this I let it sit for a few minutes, I scrubbed it, and then I sprayed this again, and I need to scrub it even more or better because there's still stuff on the bottom. I know it's not going to get perfect, but at least all the food and stuff so it doesn't um, smell like something's burning every time I try to bake. So I want to finish that real quick this way I could get dinner going, and then I'll show you here in a second, but I need to wash the dishes. It's kind of been like a dumping ground in here in the kitchen. I was running errands and in the garden today, so... Anytime I'd walk in the house, everything came, went in the kitchen, you know what I mean? So, maybe if you're watching this, you are cleaning along with me, or even just sitting and watching, hopefully it gives you some cleaning motivation. So let's get to scrubbing the oven. This is what it looks like at the moment. As you can see, there's still leftover, um, what is it called, baking soda. And I did spray the spray in there, so it's kind of like bubbles um, in some spots. But... Again, it's not perfect, so I need to go through and wipe it down again. I'm going to see if I can use a sponge to kind of help me scrub it down a little bit. Um, and yeah, this way I can go ahead and start dinner. Even though I'm going to be doing dinner on the stove top, I still, I feel like the heat from the top will kind of make the bottom warm. So I need to finish that real quick. <laughs> tell but that looks so much better it's not perfect but a lot better than it used to be and um, there's still some spots on here which I'm sure if I really scrubbed I could have gotten off but it's fine it's a lot better than it used to be I did end up putting this apron on while I was cleaning because I was leaning over and I had a feeling I was gonna get my white shirt dirty um, but Eddie actually just called and said um, he's going to stop by and grab dinner somewhere because he's going to volleyball, which makes it so much easier for me because that's one last thing I have to do. So now I can just focus on cleaning the kitchen. This is what the kitchen looks like. I mean, I wasn't joking when I said it was like the dumping ground. <laughs> so I got these beautiful peonies yesterday. Those red flowers are gorgeous as well. I just have to trim them. Or actually, no, I trimmed them yesterday. So I just have to put them on the table. Um... Got Mia some more food and just cups. Like like I said, everything just accumulated here. <laughs> There's dishes in the sink that need to get washed. Um, I opened the dishwasher because I was about to start putting the dishes in there. So the stove is clean. I got out that pan. I was going to start making dinner. But like I said, easier for me. <laughs> and yeah, just have some stuff on the counters. I don't know if you saw before, but I do... Um, you're probably like, why the heck is she collecting her K-cups? <laughs> well... Uh, I cut them open and I get the coffee grounds out so I could put them in the garden. So that's why I collect them and then once it's pretty full I will dump them all out in the garden. And yeah, so I'm just going to clean up. I'm going to start off by washing the dishes or putting them in the dishwasher. I feel like I can't really do anything in the kitchen if there's dishes in the sink. And usually I try to clean them or put them in the dishwasher as we go. but. Like I said earlier, it was just kind of busy and hectic, so everything got piled in.
everything is cleaned and put away um, besides the clean dishes I usually like to let them uh, dry off a little bit like air dry and then I'll put them away and yeah feels good now I'm going to vacuum the floors and wash them and it should be all set but I mean these peonies are just gorgeous sorry the lighting isn't the best let me try this way they like they smell amazing usually I would turn on my uh, diffuser over here when I'm cleaning or done cleaning but these peonies have been smelling amazing so I'm just going to enjoy that scent while I have them they're just like so like they almost look fake I mean just Gorgeous. have to cook dinner um, I really need to clean the living room so I'll go ahead and do that now but I'll just show you what a mess it is <laughs> so as you can see some of the couch pillows are off um, I took them off I was about to start vacuuming but I thought I'd show you before I do that so I really need to go in and vacuum inside the couches um, that doesn't look too bad and then you get over here <laughs> and that has been my dumping ground too I took all the receipts out of our cars um, because it adds up in there too. I was emptying some of my purses. As you can see, Eddie came home his lunch boxes there, shoes. So just really want to clean this area. I love walking into the house and having it be nice and clean and not cluttered everywhere. And I don't know if you can see right there on the door. It looks like it's dirty and it's not. What it is is every time we come home, Mia gets excited and she jumps. So she kind of like scratched the door a little bit. So it's just... Um, it just needs to get painted, but it's not dirty. I've tried washing it. <laughs> I thought it was dirty. It's just the paint came off, but yeah. So I think I'm going to start off. Um, actually, what I usually like to do first is declutter, take everything out that needs to get taken out, um, clean off the surfaces, and then I'll vacuum. So I'm going to start off with this mess right here. <laughs>
everything is all clean. I just have to put the mop bucket away, wash it. But it feels so good. I love lighting a candle at the end. Kind of relaxes me, especially if it's towards the end of the night. It makes it smell good. Or I'll usually turn on the diffuser. But since it's just me and Mia here tonight, I thought I'd light a candle and just kind of relax for the rest of the evening. I love having fresh flowers on the table too. I feel like it just brightens up the room and just gives it a little pop of color. I know it's dark in here, but I turn off all the lights and just have the candle lit with the lamp. And it's just nice and cozy. I love it. It's clean. It feels so good. And I'm just going to quickly clean the guest bathroom. <laughs> just might as well get it all done, right? <laughs> uh, so in here, I don't know if I showed you guys, but we finally installed some sconces on the side of the mirror. And not too much to do in here. I'm just going to quickly wipe down the surfaces like the sink, the toilet, and wash the floor. And that'll be it for here. On my own, but I don't know why you hit the road, but you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around. I won't think twice when you're gone. Don't hesitate to call me back. Cause I won't be there. And now this bathroom is clean. That really didn't take long at all. It was about eight minutes. And again, it wasn't too bad. I just had to wipe stuff down and wash the floors. The bathtub is clean. Usually after every time, like when the guests leave, I'll make sure to clean it. This way it's ready for next time. And I do have some rugs or mats, but I usually don't put them down unless when guests come because they're white, they get dirty really easily. And even after washing them, they still don't look as white. So for us, I don't put them down, it's just when guests come. I just got this candle at Marshall's and it smells so good. So I put it in here for now, open the lid and it actually smells up the whole bathroom. Like every time I come in here, I could smell it. it just, it's like a citrusy, but uh, just perfect. I hope you enjoyed watching me clean or maybe you were cleaning with me. I know I do that a lot of times. I'll turn on a cleaning video and it almost motivates me and I'll um, clean as I'm watching the video, like washing dishes or something. So that kind of helps me out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you all next time. Bye.